welcome to my channel. Today we are gonna be unboxing a maker crate for the month of March and I'm very excited to get into this with you. So if you're new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to do unboxings like I'm doing today to give you different curriculum ideas or reviews and to give you organizational ideas. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button and let's open this box. So this one says it's a stenciled book holder right here and get creative with stencil art and make a one of a kind book rack. So that sounds very, very exciting to me. <laughs> so when we open it up, this is what it looks like. You can see that this box is so big. It's always so hard for me to hold it up so you guys can see. So this is the picture if you wanted to see it a little closer. So that looks really cool. Kind of like those magazine organi organizers you see at stores. <laughs> I'm like, where do you see them? Doctor's offices and stuff. Maybe you have them in your house as well. So here we have our little instructions. So there's another picture right there of an option. And then it looks like just some different ideas for stenciling in here. So those are, and so those aren't the instructions. That's just kind of an ideas book. The instructions for the maker crate are online and it gives you the website in here. And then it's really well done videos so you can watch those videos to figure out what you need to do so first we have some paint it looks like right here so we have our holder that will probably be stenciling so that's what this is and it's pretty big it's folded in half and then we have craft knife safety tips so there must be a knife in here so it's giving us some tips so we don't cut our fingers off, so that's good. And then this has, it looks like some glue, and these paint brushes are so cute. <laughs> Look at how little they are. <laughs> so I like those, and then some tape. There's some tape in there as well. And then there's a little tray, probably to mix paint and put paint on. I wonder if this is our knife. Let's see here what we got so yes so we have we do have a knife in this one and so like i said this crate is for 14 to like 104 year olds so i obviously would not just give this to a kid <laughs> not a good idea but maybe if your teenagers aren't very good with knives you might want to review those safety rules they sent and then it comes with a marker and then we have the holder it looks like i'm not going to open this up right now but so this looks like it's going to be the frame the fabric's going to sit on so that you could put your magazines in it or your books and then wax paper this might just be so you don't make a mess on your table or wherever you're working and then this is like a measuring thing but it's pretty thick so i wonder if it's just one or if there's more so, no, just one. This is like good quality, guys. So this is really thick, but a cute little measuring thing. So that'll be exciting to see how we're gonna use that. And then it looks like we have some different pictures down here. This is see-through. So, well, you know, it's frosted. So I don't know what that's gonna be for. And then we have some different pictures right here, probably ideas for stenciling that you can do on your book holder. So that's what's in this box. And I'm actually just really excited for this. Last month we did clay and the clay is fun, but it's just not my strong point. But this looks really fun. So I'm excited to try it out and let you know how it goes. So I just finished doing my maker crate and I absolutely loved it guys. I thought it was so, so fun. So I'm gonna hold it up, it's kind of big, but you guys can see it. So this is the book holder. 
that I made and I chose to do the leaves here and made them lighter at the bottom and darker at the top. And then this is the back of it. So I just had a lot of fun doing this. This is the kind of craft that I really like doing, painting and I like to paint or crochet. Those are kind of my thing. The clay making's fun, but it's not my favorite. So I really, really enjoyed stenciling. I don't know if I've really ever stenciled too much before. So this was just a good exposure to it. And I didn't actually think it was too hard to do. And it was fun to get the different colors and just to design everything. I feel like that's the hardest part for me is they give these different designs and they make their stuff look so cute and I just never know what to do or where it would look best or just what would be best. So that's always the most stressful part is, okay, what am I gonna do? And then I figured it out and did this. They also had some other cute ideas. So this is one like similar to the one I did that has books in it. But I also thought if you wanted to do it for a kid's room or even if you had a teenager that made one like this, this one they did stars on and then they put little blankets in it. So if you wanted to make one similar for like a baby, you could put receiving blankets in there and have it displayed in their room and that would be really cute. So I thought there was a lot of really great options and the tools guys were so amazing. This thing I am just excited to have for sewing if you do quilting. I don't quilt very much, but this would be good just for little cuts. I also used it. I was making some little file folder things for my kids for homeschool like the next day and I pulled this out with a little X-Acto knife and used it to cut some of the sharper edges that were hard to cut with scissors and it worked great. So I'm really impressed with the quality of this. It's really good material. And then there's also some designs left over. There's the plastic that you trace them on and then a few designs that you don't use. So if you wanted to stencil other things or like on paper or if you had fabric, you could still stencil some other things in the, with the paint that they gave you or you could go get your own. So I really overall, I just absolutely loved this crate and I'm excited to style this. This is very outside of my comfort zone. I tried a few examples in my bedroom. <laughs> and put it on my dresser. So maybe that's where I'll put it. I'm not really sure and put like a plant next to it, but I'm just excited for next month because I just really enjoyed this one so much. So much, not month. <laughs> so if you're interested in seeing more videos like this, please give me a thumbs up and we will see you next time.